And this is the AWS code to actually reboot the switches on the WTI PDU units. It's calling the WTI API to access the units and we're using the Amazon AWS service and we're running Python to actually make the calls. So if you look at the AWS code here, you see the basic authentication you're using to log into the units. And then it depends on the clicks. You click on the, um, the AWS IoT device, which we saw in the last video. Uh, double click will turn the switches off. A long switch, which is holding the button down for a minute, and, I mean a second and a half longer, will boot the switch and a single press will turn all the switches on. Right here we're hard coding plugs 1, 4, and 7 to do whichever plug action you press your buttons at. Uh, we're logging just to the uh, AWS um, logging mechanism. And then we're calling the HTTPS connection of rest.wci.com, which is a unit we have as test here at the building. And here we're actually doing the post request, which uh, calls this URL, dumps the JSON data, which we put up here for the plug states and stuff, and putting the, the headers, the JSON headers. And here's the just calls to log and actually make the calls. And that's how you reboot WTI switches through an AWS IoT device. Thank you very much.